Uh, I'm here with Keith Creel, who is the president and CEO of Canadian Pacific Kansas City, the first transnational railroad in North America, probably the only one at this point. Keith, on behalf of Railway Age, congratulations. This is, uh, Thank you, Bill. You know, we've been, as you know, we've been following this closely for, uh, for a little more than two years and, uh, you know, uh, Railroader of the Year in uh, 2021 and 2022, a co-Railroader of the Year with, uh, uh, with Pat Ottensmeyer. Uh, uh, simple question, how do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel? I'll tell you in all honesty, uh, this morning when I got up to speak at the town hall, I felt nervous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't had speaking jitters in, I can't remember when. Um, and I think it's just the gravity of it all. You know, finally coming together, the battle that we've had, the journey it took to get here, uh, the opportunity that lies ahead, there's a whole lot of emotions all coming together. I don't want to say overwhelmed, but certainly uh, the weight of it, it's, it's, it matters. It matters to so many people, the responsibility of it. Uh, and the opportunity you put it all together it's it's truly a unique situation uh, i feel blessed i feel honored uh, we've worked hard to get here but we're ready to get to work too you're writing history if you think about it you know years from now uh when a, a railroad history book comes out uh, this undoubtedly will be will be part of it yeah absolutely i'm you know the, again you think about gravity you think about uh, milestones in, in industry's history and in, in nation's histories. Mm -hmm. um, never before has any rail network connected to all three countries. Uh, and I would suggest never has there been a time of greater need than today to do that. So when you think about that, um, when you think about, you know, this railroad, prior history, Canadian Pacific, being the railroad that connected a nation in 1885. Mm -hmm. And then you think about it, promontory, uh, when the Golden Spike was was planted to connect the first transcontinental U.S. railroad. Now today, here we are 140 plus years later, pounding the last spike to connect the first, and I think the only ever, transnational yes, railroad. Um, for sure. From right. new markets, new supply chains that are created, uh, I just don't think this is going to happen again. I see that the new logo, uh, which is, uh, it's, um, I understand you, it was pretty much your idea. Is that uh, is that true? Just to retain the uh, the basic uh, Canadian Pacific logo and well, just update it. It was my suggestion. Obviously, uh -huh. um, that logo is near and dear to my heart. As you think about the social issues of putting two companies together and respecting our past and respecting KCS has a very proud history as well. Mm -hmm. I wanted to honor that. I thought that's yes. important. I think that's important. I know it is as a human. It's important. Uh, but Pat embraced the Beaver as well because of what it stands for: hard work. Determination, Determination. Mm -hmm. uh, never giving up, and I, and I even think about the journey that we had to go through to get here today. Yeah, is I, it's like the beaver that never stopped. You know? Right, right. We we came together, we announced our merger, we broke up, we had to come back, we had to fight for it uh, to earn our seat back at this table. Uh, and again, I can't think of anything more symbolic than thinking yeah. about that beaver. So and beavers are builders, as we know, and, and that's they're... exactly. Yeah. This, this railroad will help these nations build. Uh, so again, I think it's appropriate. I think it honors all three companies and I think it gives us something to be focused on and reminds us of, of what our commitment is to serve and to build. And uh, here in Kansas City, you're uh, making a commitment, you're investing, uh, you're building a new U.S. operations center right here yes. uh, in the yard that'll handle, uh, it'll be dispatching customer service and some other some other functions? Yeah, we're going to do a, a groundbreaking ceremony after the spike ceremony today. Um, as you can imagine, uh, we'd, like to, we'd like to get engaged. We've been planning this for quite some time. Uh, we've owned joint agency here in this yard, so we uniquely, without getting ahead of the regulator, because it was we're part owners here, uh, okay. we put the plans together. Uh, we've got the permits. We literally go to work next week. So a year from now, uh, we will have a state-of-the-art U.S. operations center. Uh, we'll have the employees that are working in the KCS Cathedral building now transition here. Mm -hmm. uh, after that transition's made, uh, we have our implementing agreement done with the dispatchers that are in Minneapolis, St. Paul. We'll transition those employees uh, here to Kansas City so we can be together as a CPKC family. Uh, we'll have a training center in it, uh, operations, to your point, marketing, 
and even something that is as well as nice as on, on the top of it, on the very rooftop, we're going to put a terrace for our employees uh, uh -huh. to be able to enjoy the weather, enjoy trains. Um, think about that <laughs> when you're downtown, not by track, in both cities. Right. I found over my history, when you come to the rail yard, mm -hmm. you can smell the trains and feel the trains and interact with employees. Uh, it's undeniably railroading, and that's the way we're all wired, and it, it motivates people. Sure is. Uh, so yeah, we're really looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be extremely nice. And then, of course, uh, uh, Pat Ottensmeyer is staying on, uh, at least through the end of the year, as, a, as an advisor. And, uh, uh, you know, he's very well connected with, uh, uh, with, with Mexico. A lot going on in Mexico next year is a presidential election. And, uh, I, I, I met with Pat last night, and uh, and he's he's happy. I mean, he's really, uh, you know, he's closing out his uh, uh, railroad career on on a very high note. Yeah, Pat. Um, I've always had a lot of respect for Pat. Um, over the last two years, it's only grown deeper. Um, you know, a company in trust, and you know, trying to plan for this integration, and especially since the announcement was made you know he's poured his heart and soul into KCS he loves the KCS the way I love CP uh, he's always expressed an expectation to me and he didn't apologize for it that he wanted a meaningful transformational opportunity for his employees uh, and that's what we're creating and throughout this entire process he's been nothing but a gentleman nothing but supportive uh, and as we go forward for him to agree to work as an advisor special advisor to me uh, our partnership would just go deeper. He's got a tremendous amount of knowledge. Uh, he's established a tremendous amount of respect, especially in Mexico, as well as in Washington. Um, he's very active in the um, um, in the business community as far as connecting the nations. UNCA, right. mm -hmm. he had a seat at that table. Uh, so I've got a tremendous amount that I'm going to learn from him and make sure that his good work, we build upon it and we don't lose any ground. Uh, so for him to stay in work with me to be able to do that for the balance of this year. You know, kudos to, to us, the mm -hmm. company's going to benefit, and, and again, Pat's such a gentleman, he'd have it no other way. Okay. Well, on behalf of Railway Age, you know, uh, we, we, you know, as you know, we've been around since 1856, uh, not me personally, <laughs> uh, but we are very privileged and very honored to, uh, to be a part of, you know, a, a part of this history. And, uh, uh, th thank you for everything that you and your staff uh, uh, have done to uh, to help us, you know, write that story. Sure. Well, thank you. Thank you for the support. Okay. Um, Very good. We appreciate sure. it. We look forward to writing yes. many more chapters Ab of success. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Yes.